During the Lunar New Year, red lanterns are everywhere in China, decorating homes and lining city streets meant to symbolize good luck. And of the millions of red lanterns hanging across the country for the holidays, most of them have come from one village, a two-hour train ride from Beijing into Hebei province in Tunto, the self-proclaimed red lantern capital of China. Most of the lanterns here are still made by hand in family-owned workshops and factories that collectively churn out 80 million lanterns a year. We're making lanterns all year round, but now is the busiest time, says Bai Xiaohong, who helps manage her family's business. They used to be made with bamboo and paper. Now cloth is stretched over steel wire and decorated with gold ribbon and Chinese characters, like Xi for happiness. The entire village is tied to the lantern industry, but few here in Tunto have been making them longer than Bai Junping. He's 70. I started as a hobby making small lanterns, but competition was high, he says. And so he thought bigger, a lot bigger. I'm here for scale. This one is 10 feet. The biggest they make is three times this size. Mr. Bai told me the grandest ones he's made hang in shopping malls and city squares. He uses special thicker fabric for those. <laughs> he says demand dropped during the pandemic, but now a lot of people are after his signature lanterns again. From the lantern capital, they're sent to cities and towns all over China and across Southeast Asia. Some even make their way to the U.S. As traditions go, hanging red lanterns started centuries ago as a way to ward off ancient evil spirits. Red is considered an auspicious color here. They've adorned palaces and alleyways ever since. It's kind of protection, uh, meaning safety for the family. Red lanterns has always been a, a very important source of hope. So when you come, come home, you see a red lantern on your doorway. It always feels very welcoming. For the hundreds of millions of people around the world celebrating the Lunar New Year, the very foundation of the holiday is family, a time to come together for meals and to share memories. In China, the end of tough zero COVID rules means a lot of people, countless millions here, are heading home for the holidays for the first time in years. Officials estimate travelers will make nearly 2 billion trips this month as the moon enters a new phase and kicks off Year of the Rabbit. And at many of those homecomings, the Red Lanterns of Tunto will be there too, holding all the luck and good fortune for a new year. a lot of traditions that come with the Lunar New Year, like giving hongbao or red envelopes with money, mainly to the kids, wearing red because it's an auspicious color. And of course, the feasts are a huge part of the occasion. Also, for the first time in history, the state of California has declared the Lunar New Year an official holiday. So, Xin Yang Kuai Le, Happy New Year to everyone. Coming off a year of the tiger that did seem pretty ferocious at times and ushering in what will hopefully be a calm year of the rabbit. Cheers. Happy Cheers New Year. Oh, Thank my gosh. So Janice Mackey, very great to see you. <laughs> when I was in uh, Beijing last year for the Olympics, the Red Lanterns, all the, we'd always just sort of stop and we're taken aback. How beautiful. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.